Lot. We're learning more about the death of a teenage boy who was electrocuted at an FPNL substation. That teenager jumped over a fence apparently to get a basketball, and that's when he was electrocuted. Now his family and friends are trying to come to terms with the tragic loss. CBS 4's Natalia Zia is live in Miami with the story. Natalia. Well, all morning long, friends and family members have been coming here to this small memorial, laying flowers, even a skateboard, which is something that this young man loved so much. His family, his friends, his classmates are all reeling from his death. Mercedes Meneses says she lived for her son, breathed for her son, and now she'll have to bury her son. 17-year-old Jesus lost his life in a freak accident, electrocuted as he went to retrieve a basketball at this FPL substation. He was really chill. He loved skating. He was, like, really outgoing. He Really he funny guy. Fun. He was really funny. A young man with a desire to join the armed forces. His mother says he was very active. He loved sports. His friends placed items on a small memorial in front of the park. And classmates at Coral Gables High are also reeling from this accidental electrocution. He was really cool. He was a nice guy. And he was always happy and cheerful. When that basketball flew off of this court, friends say Jesus scaled this fence, never mind the barbed wire, and then jumped this secondary fence and landed inside. But they told him, come back, what are you doing? Because he got one ball. And then he was like, no, I'm going to get all the other balls that are in there. And that's how he got shot. Despite the warning signs up here, many teens hop this fence without deadly consequences. Roger Perez used to do it when he was a teen. He was young. You don't think. That's what happens. Now, the family here really could use your help. They want to give their son a proper burial. They could use donations. If you would like to help, you can contact Neighbors for Neighbors. The number's on your screen, 305-597-4404. You can also head to our website, cbsmiami.com backslash neighbors. And out here live again, the family also says that they would like to see the fence that is between the basketball court and this FPL substation to be higher, something to make it harder for teenagers to soak easily scale it and to help prevent future heartbreak. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News.